dating. Dating in the millennium can be a difficult thing. I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with it. There's online dating and everything else. I prefer meeting somebody the old-fashioned way, something people don't even do anymore. People walk up and say, ah, how are you? You're very beautiful. I would like to go on a date with you. Can't do that right because then you're seen as creepy you're the creepy guy that actually walked up to somebody and approached them so now they got match.com e-harmony people talk down about bowling bowling is actually a fun day the black people meet white people meet chinese people meet farmers.com as a man you gotta learn how to lose i mean if you just go in there and you bowl and beat up on her, that's not going to be any fun for you. She's not going to have fun. And then guess what? She ain't having fun, you ain't getting none. Remember that rhyme. If she ain't having fun, you ain't getting none. That's just how it works. Find something fun to do. Something fun for you as well. Don't just try to impress her. Because impressing her, you, she, you already impressed her. She said yes. So now all you got to do is not be lame. I mean, they got a dot com for everybody who wants to go on a date. But what they don't tell you is, what do you do when you're on a date? You're like, man, you got to think of something to do, someplace to go, something cool, right? You want to try to impress them. You don't want to just be some lame dude who takes them out to go play bingo, right? So you got to figure out where to go. Most of the time, you end up going to dinner. And going to dinner's fine. But, ladies, there's some things that you got to know. If you're going to go to dinner with a guy, if you're not going to pay the tab, don't touch the bill. Now, if you just, just don't touch it. Because if you pick up the bill and look at it, and then you put it back down on the table and slide it over to me, I'm going to pick it up and look at it, slide it right back to you and tell you I got my half. I mean, what are you doing? You checking damages? Just leave the bill alone. You're not going to pay the bill. Leave it alone. Don't say creepy things like, Oh, you have really nice hair. Yeah. Don't be creepy. Some people, they, some guys, they just, they, they have no clue. Like, I've seen a dude, I was at the, the subway station, there was a girl on the bus, she was sitting there in the window minding her own business, this dude walks up, knocks on the window of the bus, girl pays him no mind, he beats on the window again, she looks, he steps back five feet, points at his gold grill and just smiles like a dumbass, she goes, Right? He got his gold teeth all in his face. Like, what does he expect her to do? Just come running off the bus? Oh, my God, you got a grill. Lame. These dudes are lame, man. I guess dating can be hard if you're, if you're awkward or if you don't understand. Like, it's, it's not that hard of a concept. Dating is really easy. You go out somewhere and you just be you. Like, you don't give them the whole you. Like, you, you know, you don't... Like, I, I don't eat oranges and apples together, you. If you're a dude that can't get a girl, you need to do a self-evaluation. Like, how creepy of a dude are you? Do you sit there in just your socks and underwear and play Super Mario all night? You're probably not going to get a girl. Or, I'm sorry, I need to update that. If you sit there in your socks and underwear and play Fortnite all day, you're probably not going to get a girl. Go out and do something. Go out and meet somebody somewhere. If you if you meet a girl, don't invite her to your apartment that's full of three other dudes that are your roommates and it's just dead dumb socks everywhere. It's like the fucking place stinks. What do you expect her to do? She's not going to be comfortable. She's going to leave. It's it's that simple. Be clean, be genuine, and don't be creepy.